me Kylie and I'm so excited that you're here to hang out today. It's a little messy. <laughs> it's a little messy in here. I've been doing so much crafting, but not a lot of cleaning. <laughs> what do we make today? We can, oh. You know what? It's kind of embarrassing, but um, do you think before we got crafty today, we could like clean up some of this stuff? Would you help me? You will? You're the best. Okay, let's pick up a little bit and then we'll get making. Okay, let's do it. Get this tissue paper out, old art, sweet magazines. All right, almost done. This is so much better. Thank you so much for your help. You are such a good friend. Last step, we need to take out the trash and the recycling. Do you know what recycling is? It's when you take certain materials, paper, cardboard, certain plastics, and you put them in the recycling bin, and then they get picked up and they begin the process of being made new again. That's right, those amazing magazines that we found with all those cool pictures in them, I had already looked at them, I had already read them, but now those old things get to be made new again. I love it. It reminds me, it reminds me of my favorite kind of art, um, collaging. Have you ever heard of that before? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what we should do. Before we get rid of anything, we should make a collage. A collage is when you take pieces of paper from all sorts of different things and you combine it into one new piece of art. Old made new. <gasps> do you wanna make that with me? You're the best. Let's see, I think today we should make a solar system collage. Oh, and I have an idea. I'm gonna save the extra special last step for an extra special guest artist. You're gonna have to watch until the very end of the video to see the crazy things we make a solar system out of and our special last guest. <laughs> but for now, you and I need to go to the studio. Let's make it. We found so many amazing materials while we cleaned up the purple chair. I can't wait to make this collage with you. I'm gonna make mine into planets. You can make your collage into whatever you want. It doesn't even need to be an object. It could be something called non-objective art, where you're just exploring colors, line, texture, patterns, sizes, all kinds of things. <laughs> I'm gonna start by cutting some of my favorite colors and pictures and textures out of these magazines. Let's see. Well, that's a cute guy. Let's start right there. I wonder if you know how to use scissors yet. Scissors are something that take lots of practice. You don't just know how to do it right away. One thing that really helps is to move the paper around when you cut shapes like circles, instead of having to worry about twisting your arm all around. You also always want to be very careful with scissors. You can also practice your ripping. This is going to be fun. All these things I cut out. Do you recognize anything? When I was cutting out the alphabet pieces, I realized that I needed a system to sort them out so I wouldn't have to dig through every time I needed to find a letter. I used some paper that was scratch paper. I wasn't going to use it anymore for official art, but it wasn't bad to fold up these boxes. Another way of recycling. Let me show you how to fold your own box for letter sorting or really anything else. These come in super handy. 
put your paper down in front of you horizontally. Now you're gonna fold it in half horizontally as well. Boop. Match up those sides. Make a nice crease. Unfold. Now I'm gonna take both of these edges and I'm gonna fold them in to that middle line. Ready? We are honestly almost done. The next thing we're gonna do is fold in these four corners, leaving just a little bit of space on the top. So about that much. After that, take these two flaps and fold them out over the top of these corners. Just like that. Almost done. We're just gonna put our fingers in these corners and pop them up. Crease right there, pop, crease, and you have a box. Perfect. I'm gonna save my letters till the very end, so I'm gonna put this somewhere else for now. The next step for me is to mix up some collage glue. This is just regular school glue and water just to thin it down a little bit so it's easier to brush on. There's also special glue you can use for collages, so you can check that out or do this, up to you, up to you. Little bit of glue, little bit of water. Mix it up. Perfect. My collage is going to be an outer space collage. Maybe not exactly to scale, but still super cool looking. So I wanna start with a really dark background, blacks, blues, purples. I'm gonna add in some of the paper that I cut out of the magazines, but I'm gonna start layering tissue paper so we get a nice base. I'm painting blue on my canvas so that first layer can stick. Sometimes with big pieces of art like this, that big white blank canvas gets a little intimidating, I think. How am I ever gonna cover this whole thing? So putting down a lot of color right away kind of helps me get moving. Even if I don't end up seeing any of this tissue paper by the end of this project, it's still gonna help me put things in place and not get so worried about where to start. Cause I already started. incredible. I would hang it on my wall just like that. However, we have much more collaging to do. <laughs> I knew as soon as I saw this flower that it needed to be part of the sun for this picture. I'm going to add the big parts for the planets and then I'll go in and add more details after that. So now we get to decide where we want to put it. Hmm. Sometimes I make pictures of the solar system with the sun over here and the planets in order. And then sometimes I make pictures where the sun is in the middle and the planets are all orbiting. What do you think? Hmm, today, oh, today, maybe I'm gonna do something different and put the sun way up here. Okay. Next planet, Mercury. Mercury is a gray planet, so I'm gonna find all the gray pieces that I found. This cool bark. This little gray cat. Oh, so cute. Another cat. For Mercury, maybe I'm gonna start with this birch bark. So cool, I'm gonna cut it in a circle. A Little bit of glue. Next up, Venus, yellow. All right, I found some really cool yellow things. What would be a good base for Venus, you think? We gotta go with the corn. We gotta. Cool. 
earth. We need some green, we need some blue. We got lots of cool greens. Avocado. And then blue, I found lots of water. How about this big leafy thing? Is this lettuce? I'm not sure. I like it because it's already in a circle. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Do you know what's next? Mars. Do you know what color Mars is? Red. Pomegranates. A pie? A present. Butterfly. This is a picture of a desert I found in a magazine, but it basically looks like Mars already, so I say we use it, okay? Time for Jupiter, the biggest planet. I'm gonna start with a brown base. A hedgehog. How can we not use the hedgehog? We must, we simply must. So cute! For Saturn, I'm also gonna use brown as a base. Okay, okay, just pick, just pick. We can layer, we can layer. I don't remember what this is a picture of. Maybe some rocks? That looks awesome. Next up, Uranus. Do you know what color? Ooh, kind of a bright, light blue. Scooch aside, browns. Hmm. Ooh, look at this picture. Sea turtles, I have to save this for Dax. Sea turtles are like his favorite animal. You are going over here. Oh, this is a pretty good color. Yep, 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 that's it. You're Uranus now. And Neptune is the last one, dark blue. Let's see. Ooh, how about this? That's pretty cool. We can fit Neptune way up here. We'll have him go off the canvas a little bit. Okay, we have our main shapes in, our main colors, and now we get to add another layer of more detail. I am gonna use as much of this as I can. I am so excited about it. I'm gonna put my canvas down flat and you can watch in fast motion as I add some finishing touches to our collage. And wait for the very end because Dax has asked for a very special part of this project and he is going to get to do it. So I'll make this until it's Dax's turn, you Check it out. the name of each planet with letters that I cut out from the magazines. Good thing I have this handy dandy letter sorter. Let's start with the sun. Sun is S-U-N.
Next up, Mercury. Woof, that's a long one. Ready? M E R C U R Y. Venus starts with V. V E N U S. Now for Earth. Do you know what letter Earth starts with? E. E A R T H. Should we do moon too? Okay. M O O N. Time for Mars. M A R S. Jupiter, J U P I T E R. Next up, Saturn, S A T U R N. Uranus, U R A N U S. And last but not least, the beautiful dark blue planet, Neptune. N-E-P-T-U-N-E. -E. I love it! I'm gonna put one more coat of glue on it and then we just need to wait for Dax to get home so he can do our secret special final step. Dax is back home, and so it's time for the final special step that I saved just for you. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you all notice anything wrong with the planet Jupiter? No red. No red. That's the super special job I have for you, Dax. You get to pick which red thing is going to be our spot. Okay, here's your options. A gift. A tomato. Tomato. A hot air balloon. A peppermint candy, lick it. It tastes like paper. A red balloon or a cross brick? A cross brick. Really? That's what you pick? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Do you want to do the honor of gluing it on? Yeah, you do? Okay. I wonder which one you would have picked. Okay, so put your paintbrush in this watered down glue. Excellent. Put your glue where you'd like your red spot. Perfect, and now put on your own spot. For the last and final step of our collage. I love it. High five. The collage is complete. I love it. I think Dax picked just an amazing red spot. Good job, artist. Thanks so much for hanging out today, for helping me clean up my purple chair, and for making this amazing recycled piece of art with me, a collage. If you want to make more things with us, you know we want to make more things with you. Just search for this channel. Kylie makes it. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. We'll see you soon. Bye!